the streets erupted in running battles, with farmers and their supporters pitted against riot police. At one point, they tore down barricades and occupied the Red Fort, a 380-year-old historical site in New Delhi. For two months now, thousands of farmers have been encamped in the area, fighting against laws introduced last year deregulating parts of the country's huge agricultural sector. We will not go to our homes. We will not go anywhere until the laws are repealed, whatever happens. No farmers! No food! In snowy Toronto, a crowd gathered in support. Well, the weather is not on our side, but the commitment here certainly is that all these individuals who are praying in hopes of a better future for their families back in India. This gathering in New York was just one of many where people turned out in opposition to India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi's new farm policies. Modi says the changes will allow farmers to prosper in a freer market, but millions of small landholders fear the loss of subsidies will wipe them out. We will continue to support the farmers. It's not just the people from Punjab and India supporting them, it's people all over the world supporting them. But our people, our families that are there. Many at today's protest have close connections to those on India's farms. The farmers themselves have camped out for two months now and they're ready with six months to a year. They're not going anywhere. Uh, so this is not going to end the way the Indian government thought it was going to. After months of protests and now street battles, the question is whether demonstrations like this one here and around the world will make a difference. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Vancouver.